Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Deck Prepare video. And today's episode, we're going to be working on this 16 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is a model A2141. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace both speakers on this unit uh, as they're crackling, uh, pretty blown out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to show you how to do that. We'll have these exact speakers linked in the description below, as well as all the parts and other tools you see in today's video. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start by flipping the unit over and removing the six pentalobe screws on the bottom case, uh, noting that the two and the top right and left are going to be longer than the bottom four. After removing those screws, I'm going to use the help of a suction cup to remove the bottom case. And the very first thing we're going to do, and that you should do anytime you work on any unit, is disconnect the battery. Uh, to do so, we're going to first unplug the uh, battery management unit flex cable, and then we're going to take a T5 screwdriver and unscrew the screw holding the jumper from the logic board to the battery board. So now the unit is safe to work on, and we can proceed with today's repair. So the first thing we're going to do since we're replacing the speakers is of course unplug them on both the right and left hand side. And then we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol and soak the adhesive beneath the speaker. This is going to make it easier to remove. That way we're not struggling with it. Uh, we recommend using 98% or higher isopropyl alcohol. That way it evaporates very quickly. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then come back and start removing the speakers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a flat plastic pry and just fatigue the uh, adhesive a little bit by going back and forth on the edges. Now we're gonna go ahead and go under the corner here We try using a metal pry here to fatigue the adhesive just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna take a plastic pry, come under our speaker here, pry our speaker up, and pull it off. We're gonna repeat that same process on the other side. That's our speakers removed. We're now gonna take some tweezers and remove the adhesive that remains below. So we're going to use some more isopropyl alcohol just to clean off the remaining adhesive and residue. That way our new speakers can adhere pretty flat and well. Uh, if you don't do this, you could have your speakers come loose, rattle, uh, make weird noises, anything like that. So I recommend making sure your surface is as clean as possible and as flat as possible. All right, so we've got our brand new speakers here. Again, if you guys are looking for these speakers particularly, we will have them linked in the description below, as well as available at our website, techtip.com. If you guys are interested in a mail-in repair similar to the one you're seeing today or any data recovery work, we'll also have that linked in the description below. Uh, check us out, we do it all every day. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the protective coverings on the adhesive for my speakers and install them. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug in the speaker before I install it just to make sure my cables lined up. All right, and there we go. I'm just going to press my speaker down and in, make sure it adheres correctly. I'm going to repeat that process on the right hand side now.
All right, we're now ready to reinstall the T5 on our battery. Plug back in our battery management unit flex cable. And before we close up the unit, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a charger, plug it in, turn it on, make sure uh, that our battery is working correctly, as well as our speakers. Sixteen inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is a Model A and replace both speakers. So we're gonna start by flipping the unit over and removing the six pentalobe screws in the bottom case, uh, noting that the two and the top right and left are gonna be longer than the bottom four. After removing those screws, I'm gonna use the help of a suction cup to remove the connect the battery. Uh, to do so, we're gonna have a screwdriver and unscrew the screw holding the jumper from the logic board to the battery board. So now the unit is safe to work on and we can proceed with today's repair. So the first thing we're gonna do since we're replacing the speakers is of course unplug them on both the right and left hand side. And then we're gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and soak the adhesive beneath the speaker. This is gonna make it easier to remove. That way we're not struggling with it. Uh, we recommend using 98% or higher isopropyl alcohol. That way it evaporates very quickly. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then come back and start removing the speakers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a flat plastic pry and just fatigue the uh, adhesive a little bit by going 